clear. Well, it's been a busy year for the Red Cross as the U.S. was hit with disaster after disaster. As KGW's Christine Pitawanich found, from all the hurricanes to the fires, local Red Cross volunteers have been and still are helping people in dire situations. 2017 seems like it's been non-stop for Red Cross volunteers. Hundreds of local responders have deployed to disaster zones across the U.S., helping people in need. Volunteering to help in a disaster zone can be pretty tough sometimes. Storm Oland would know. It was devastating, for sure. Um, you'd go into a neighborhood and there would just be houses gone. This destruction done by a wildfire. It's something you don't really understand until you see it. Oland volunteers with the Red Cross and earlier this month was deployed to Ventura in Southern California. That's where he helped people who had lost everything in the wildfires that leveled entire neighborhoods. It was really kind of powerful to see. The Red Cross says 2017 has been a record year. In a matter of about 50 days over the fall season, the Red Cross shelter people than we have in the past five years. Between all the hurricanes, fires, and other emergencies, when compared to last year, the nonprofit responded to more disasters, helped more people, and sent more volunteers to devastated areas. We still have responders on the ground. Deployed to Puerto Rico and California. But our responders are stepping up in really in droves. And at 23 years old, Oland has a whole life ahead of him, a life he wants to dedicate to helping people. Uh, I just think that if something like that happened in my community, I would want somebody to, there to kind of help us. Monique Dugas says the Red Cross is able to do what it does thanks to generous donations. So if you'd like to help, head to the Red Cross's website. There you can donate. In North Portland, Christine Pitawanich, KGW News.